Hello and good morning. You join me in Amsterdam, of all places. I'm here having a bit of an adventure because my friend Carl is getting married and it's genuinely easier to fly from Doncaster to Amsterdam and then from Amsterdam to Denmark, where the wedding is happening. I never thought that would be the case. But for me, I'm really fortunate because Doncaster Airport is literally five minutes from where I live, so I can just get my dad to drop me off and I'm there. It's perfect. So my friend Sam is arriving shortly and we're gonna head out into Amsterdam, which is gonna be amazing. Joining me today is my good friend and musician extraordinaire, Samuel Swinnerton Wolf. Now we've known each other for a few years and he's always up for a bit of banter. So much so that he actually booked me into the hotel under the name Lord Geoffrey Hewitt. Which I'll be totally honest, did cause a few issues at check-in, but we're not going to go into that right now. Sam is the perfect person to explore a city like Amsterdam with. Welcome to Amsterdam. So, our initial plan is to actually find that street and replicate that picture. <laughs> Let's do it. Do you reckon we'll be able to do it? No. No. <laughs> I think I was there yesterday. And I mean, obviously I know that looks just like a canal, <laughs> but I genuinely, <laughs> I genuinely think I was there yesterday. How many, how, many, um, how many canals do you think there are in Amsterdam? And how many of them do you think would be convincing enough as this particular scene? I don't know. I, I mean, not only that, but I think it's about how many archways there are. And also, if that boat's there, we know it's right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we've arrived in Amsterdam Central, and uh, it's time to go and get a coffee, I think. That's our first port of call. Happy Pride, Amsterdam! Yeah, we're here on Amsterdam Pride Day, which is great. Look how big that flag is. Yeah, that is huge. <laughs> <laughs> so we're heading to Bagels and Beans, which is a coffee and bagel place, believe it or not. And uh, yeah, hopefully gonna get some good food. It is a beautiful city though, isn't it? There's so much. I've always said that it's like, imagine if you had loads of crazy ideas about putting things together, like, oh, I'm going to put this kind of restaurant here and this kind of cafe here and see what happens. Like, the other day I walked down a street, which was literally a street full of Argentinian steakhouse. <laughs> like, how do they stay in business? <laughs> you know, like, it's the Argentinian steakhouse district, obviously. <laughs> So we've got some of this Russian Coca-Cola type stuff called Vostok and our, our waiter has just said to us um, that apparently it's a bit weird but we're up for trying something new, so we, why not? We did actively check there wasn't alcohol. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, but the, the, the descriptions on the back uh, are not in English. No, nope, so we have no idea. But also, Samuel, you've got a different one, haven't you? Yeah, so I got, instead of Russian cola, I got um, plum and cardamom and uh, if you look very closely at the bottom, you will see a lot of dead flies. A lot of sediment, <laughs> yeah. I, I, <laughs> it's not actually dead flies. But... <laughs> I mean, it could be. Yeah. Yeah, we, we can't read the, we can't read the label. It might be dead flies. Who knows? <laughs> what an odd colour. What the colour? <laughs> you know what? Yeah, it's probably that. Sorry. So, cheers. You'll just, <laughs> just look <at> it, yeah. <laughs> cheers. cheers. <laughs> huh. Yeah. Want to try this one? Yeah. You want to try this? Yours is nicer than mine, isn't it? I quite like yours as well. Mine's kind of got like a, like a benolin taste. <laughs> <laughs> With the caramel, isn't it? Like yeah. The it? cola caramel sort of like taste. This one, this one tastes like if companies that made mulled wine also made pop. <laughs> well, it just tastes like if, if the companies that made cough syrup also made <laughs> <laughs> It is unbelievably warm here. I mean, I was complaining about it in the last episode of A Song in Seven Days, but this is something else. We're talking 31 degrees, there's no shade. Very blue skies, look. There you go, told you. We found the actual location of the photo, we're, we're sure of this, because there's three little tunnels there and one going there. Were they putting out a battery or this tree? It's hard to say, isn't it? Yeah. But it's definitely the right location. Um, it looks amazing. So. Are you going to take the picture with me in it? <laughs> Let's let you try this. There he goes. Run, Jeffrey. Run. Ah! 
so I'm really unclear as to if I'm supposed to be taking a video or a picture. So I'm just gonna do that. There we go. Yeah! I hope I hope I got what you wanted. Sauntering away, a little bit of swagger. It was genuinely a really bad idea to run. It's so warm. <laughs> oh, but yeah, we got it though, didn't we? So we're just walking through the centre and one of the churches here is um, is playing Holst. <laughs> it's, you yeah. can't hear it in the video, but it is genuinely playing Jupiter. Well, the what, what would you call that bit? Uh, it's it's, the, it's the, I vow to thee my country that it was well, turned to him, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, Interesting no, it's the debate. From Jupiter. Yeah, it's just the thing from Jupiter. You know, yeah. the, the really nice bit. <laughs> so, we've purchased some Choco Mel. It was actually cheaper to buy it in a carton than it was. A 300 mil bottle. Yeah, we've these done quite well there. These are litre cartons. They <laughs> are. We've got a litre of it. Yeah. Those of you will remember the episode of Song in Seven Days where me and Alex Byer Cook drank this, but we drank it warm. So uh, this is for him because it'll be very, very jealous. <laughs> Controversially, Samo thinks that the Choco Mel is not as good as something else. Milo. There we go, apparently it's better. But still, when in Rome, <laughs> consume Choco Mel. When in Amsterdam, consume Choco Mel. <laughs> The road that we're on at the moment is the one that has about six Argentinian steakhouses in a row. So, two there. Uh, one, two. One up at the top. Yeah. Three, four down there. How, genuinely, how do they get any kind of business? It's, it's amazing. We just rather cheaply went into a hotel to use their loo. <laughs> and it was quite an upmarket hotel. And something happened to you, didn't it? But okay, when you, when you say upmarket, we're talking like everyone's sort of, you know, in, in suits and things like that. Yeah. Um, and Jess said, oh, I'll wait for you in the lobby. And I'm like, cool. Not realising he actually meant like out The back. other lobby. Yeah, there, the, there were two lobbies in this hotel. Yeah, the way we came in. So I, I, I saw like the main lobby and I went down there, you know, in my, in my shorts and t-shirts and my Primark glasses and my, you know, Primark marked bag. Um, and <laughs> everyone's in suits and things just kind of vaguely, vaguely sort of staring at me but smiling being like you're definitely not supposed to be here but I'm smiling at you anyway and this one lady who's also dressed as hotel stuff is just holding a tray of macaroons a tray. as I walk past her she just goes <laughs> and I'm like thank you and she says you can have more than one if you'd like but I'm like thank <laughs> you so not only did we use the toilet for free but you got macaroon <laughs> Amsterdam, more like Tramsterdam. He said it. Oh, isn't it pretty? It's hot, but it's pretty. <laughs> oh, Why, thank you. Oh dear. We're near Bloom Market now, so we can go and look at some tulips. That's the exciting part of this trip, obviously. There's also a cheese shop around here where you can try Gouda at various different stages throughout its life. Is that the right way of putting it? Probably. Yeah. So we'll hopefully it gets tried out. cheese life. Yeah. Well, we know it's a perpetual purgatory of torture. You know, you're right. But cheese brings me a lot of happiness. So we've just been into a cheese shop. Uh, it was a Gouda shop. And Sam's bought some sweets, obviously. Oh, yeah. separated. Well, you buy a cheese shop. <laughs> Absolutely. But we've also, uh, well, I couldn't resist buying a whole wheel of Gouda, so or Howder, as they say over here. Well, it doesn't roll very well. No, it really doesn't. Oh, oh dear! I only just got that. Oh, so dear. um. Oh yes, thank you. Oh no! <laughs> Yay! So we're just trying to come to the flower market because it's a very beautiful place. And there's all sorts. <laughs> Making licorice, and I said all sorts. <laughs> 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 but comedy aside, it's a very beautiful place. So I'm going to point the camera that way now. It's far more interesting than I am. <laughs> Still getting over that one. <laughs> cheese seller and a cheese seller. <laughs> A seller of cheese. <laughs> Excuse me, is this a seller of cheese? <laughs> or is it a or is it a cheese seller? It's not even that funny. Can I, can I speak to the cheese seller? <laughs> Give him a call. I went so long like explaining that without realizing. Oh, this is it. You can call them up 
Hello, can I speak to the chief seller, please? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's speaking. Oh, where are you right now? I'm in the cheese cellar. <laughs> <laughs> Moment, Sam, and I'm going to share it with you. I'm going to share it with you through the medium of vlog. It's not a joke this time, actually. Legitimately, oh, no. right? I just saw a guy try to get his daughter to sort of listen to him. Right. And you know, like when you hear a name in a certain way, and you just think, ah, oh, right, I really like that name. I don't know if you've made this list, but I've like categorically there are a couple of names that I would call my kids. Well, yeah, everyone's got those, right? Yeah. yeah. I've just discovered one. Okay. Sophia. I really like the name Sophia. Really? Yeah, it's a lovely name. So there you have it. My daughter will be called Sophia. <laughs> and back yourself. Back yourself, yeah. We're in a, a building called the Beehive. Uh, that's it, really. Uh, it, it is a Dutch word for something, but it translates as beehive. We think it is beehive. We think it is. And again. Um, I can't count, I've got to put them on floor. No, that's fine. Um, yeah, so we're on floor number two, going up to floor number three. Yeah. It's quite an impressive building, actually. It's almost like a super Debenham. Samuel, do you want to tell me what's going on over here? Yes, Jeff. I'll show you what's going on over here. In here, we have five solar panels. <laughs> five solar panels powering the lazy Susan inside. Five solar panels powering the lazy Susan behind glass. <laughs> We are inside. Inside. That, that, ladies and gentlemen, is Louis Vuitton. There we are. Ladies and gentlemen, just when you thought it couldn't get any more extra, <laughs> ten soul packs. <laughs> powering a singular lazy Susan. Inside. With one Louis Vuitton bag. One slowly rotating <laughs> Louis Vuitton bag. <laughs> it's so strange, isn't it? Why that piece of music? Da, da. I'm, I'm good, I'm just enjoying watching you enjoy it. God, I hate dying. I never have this fun. I just accidentally find it. Yeah. Just fell over one day and your mouth landed on one. We want it all around now, haven't we? Uh, not really. Okay. <laughs> hey, Jeff. I guess what? Yeah, that's why I should have got a knife and fork. There we go. No. And uh I'm not wearing this for the rest of the trip then. That's the uh, He said it! He said the trip! Oh shout out Tim Lynch, <laughs> 2018. Jeff, do you wanna show us why you're I just took that off to reveal that I've got it on this anyway. How did you get it inside your shirt? Yeah, I, I don't know how I've managed to do it just... but... Oh well. We've made some friends, we've had some waffles. It's nice to come across people. Yeah, absolutely. And I do that a lot, I find it fun. Yes, this is great. Well, it's good to make you and share waffles with you. Yeah. I'll try not to make such a mess next time. Fork and knife. Of course, yeah. Fork and knife, that's the answer. Unbelievable. What is my life? I'd just like to say that in my defence, there was a lot of chocolate on those waffles. You will vouch for that. He's not wrong. It was very hard to eat, but I only have myself to blame for the situation that I am now in, which is that I am covered in water and chocolate. I'm not even kidding. There is a boy over there behind us holding a pigeon. Yeah? <laughs> literally holding a pigeon. I tried to film it very subtly, I don't know if it worked. I literally cannot believe it. He just picked it up with both hands and held the pigeon. I've seen anything that ridiculous since that video of that woman giving um, a pigeon CPR in Glasgow. I thought you were going to say I haven't seen anything as ridiculous as that since you, know, you saw me eating that waffle about 10 minutes ago. Uh Jazz musicians. Yeah. 
that's what we like to see. Because the thing about jazz is it's uh, it's dying on the vine. And, uh, Do you like the jazz? You like jazz? Okay, we're back at the hotel room, and it's been a long day. We've got to get up early in the morning. Ooh, I love early morning. <laughs> yeah. So we'll catch up with you when we get to the airport. I but love airport. Airports are great. Yes. But yes, in the meantime, we are actually going to hit the the pool and the spa at this hotel, which is included in the price. Spa! So yeah, why not? Let's do that. But obviously, I'm not going to take this into a steam room. That's so, stupid. So it's good night for now. We'll see you in the morning. Do you want to say goodbye? Bye! There we go. Good morning. You join us at 10 to 7 in the morning at Schiphol Airport. We are for hours. Yay! It's been excellent so far. We're all checked in. I love the airport. Airports are great, particularly this early in the morning. We're going to go and try and find some breakfast. 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 I actually do love breakfast. Yeah, no, breakfast is always good, no matter what. Yeah. And uh, after we've done that, it'll be a case of getting on the plane and uh, then we'll let them do the rest of the work, <laughs> I think. No, I fully intend to help the pilot. Yeah, give him as much assistance as he needs. Which is zero. Yes, <laughs> one would hope. If you wonder how we're moving, well, that's quite simple. We're on one of those full flat escalators. Travel Is that what they're called? Travel Yeah, Travel of course, but I would argue that this is escalating, in a way. Which, which way is it escalating? That way. That way. Away from us. Fair enough. For anyone who hasn't been to Schiphol Airport before, it's ridiculous. It's, it's like a small city, really. <laughs> <laughs> it's like complete with an industrial district. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, there's like there's a watch shop. I mean, I'm really not doing a good job of describing it. It's bright, isn't it? I'm not doing a good job of describing it, but actually, there's a lot going on here. I managed to find a cup of tea and a sausage and egg sandwich. So, yeah, happiness. Happiness is ensuing. What are you doing, Jeff? I'm going to try and tie this in such a way, what have I done there? Oh, 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 the only you can tell us. I'm going to try and find a tutorial to tie this into a Windsor knot. There will now be a short intermission as I wait for this to load. Right, so... Ladies and gentlemen, modern technology. Really beat that look of confusion on Jeff's face. <laughs> you can't have done it a bit short somehow. I think you might be trying to tie a really fat knot on a really skinny tie. Hey, it worked the other day when I did it. Alright. Did it at home. But um, yeah, I think you've uh, absolutely nailed that, Jeff. Ready now, ready to go. Give, give us a thumbs up, thumbnail for the video. <laughs> <laughs> the level of concentration is palpable. That looks neater than the last one. Yeah. And this time it makes it almost to your belly button. Just so the camera can see. There we go. Nice. Excellent. There. Crushed right, it. Okay, so can you remember where I put the... Uh... As far as that. I could go back and review the footage, but actually, yeah, it does want to be quite short on that side, maybe even shorter than that. Did you did you go to a school that wore ties, Jeff? Yes, but we never did Windsor Knot. How, how long ago was that? Well, in six one we had clip on ties, so it's been at least ten years. <laughs> ten years, though. Oh my gosh, a decade. Is that looking okay? It's a bit long now. That's okay, actually. I mean, it doesn't reach your belt when you stood up, so... Let's have a look then. Ooh, okay. What do you think, internet? Give this video a yeah, thumbs up, up go, if you it's like. Too late. <laughs> the wedding will come and go. Give it a thumbs down if you don't think the tie is like long enough. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong perspective. Tie to jail. All right, then, we'll I, Yeah, I think you've nailed that. Okay, good. Thank you. Third time to the show. Yeah. What did you do? Hit my... Onto the back of my chair. 
Plane now, so thank you for joining us. And uh, yes, let's go to this wedding now. <laughs> let's head for the wedding. Heading for a wedding. Heading for a it's wedding. a hashtag that's probably outdated by now. Who knows? Yeah, hooray! Right, thanks for watching.